What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a draft that has just fired immediately. Let's take Hull Breacher. Also a Tinker, which is pretty cool. Hull Breacher is pretty broken, though. I, I'm, I haven't played against it as frequently as I did in the very beginning, so uh, my anger at the card has, has waned a little bit, but uh, it's still very good. Oh, what up, Cyborg Yui? Um, yeah, if Tinker, Metamorph, Balsir. There's a lot of cards that could come back that I would not mind. Oko. Oh. All right. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'll just take an Oko. I mean, then if Subtlety, Titania, Candelabra is interesting. Top is fine. Yeah. Definitely not going to pass an Oko, especially if we took a blood card. Underground Sea, Through the Breach, Retrofitter Foundry, um, I kind of just want the Underground Sea, could also take Taiga, try to hit like Wheel of Fortune, if Through the Breach comes back we can take that, Retrofitter is cute, especially because Oko makes treasures and if we get like Telerian Academy, it might just be Retrofitter Foundry. Yeah, that card's pretty busted. Also keeps us, like, open for, like, an Urza. Foothills seems pretty good for this combination. Also an intuition, which again, I'm not really super sold on intuition. Yeah, I'm just taking the wooded foothills. That's a solid little fetcherino. All right, all right, let's go. Any day now. Oh, what do we got here? Storm Carved Coast, Once Upon a Time, Green Sun Zenith, Green Sun. So we're on the Sylvan plus Eugene train. I think that's the only train you've ever been on. I feel like you're like an old man just on one train going back and forth. Storm Carved Coast does let us lean into wooded foothills and be red, which I think is probably better than Once Upon a Time or Green Sun here. Especially if we do have any interest in picking up a Wheel of Fortune if it comes. Could take Expressive Iteration here. That's pretty good. Uh, it's kind of the only card I'd really even consider here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sure. We got Wooded Foothill Storm Carve Coast. We could easily just be splashing the green as well. Help an old man out. <laughs> oh, Lord. Somebody get Grandpa's pills. Sometimes you gotta check and make sure there's no dogs in here with you. Sometimes there are. Sometimes there's not. I do like a fiery confluence quite a bit. Um hmm. I kinda think it's better than Wall of Roots. Okay. We'll confluence. And now we're just basically blue red splashing uh this this Oko works for me.
I like these packs retaining all. How goes the weekend? Well, we got snow yesterday and it's like four degrees out and I hate it. I hate it. Uh, could take Botanical Sanctum. I think I like Chandra a little bit better. Especially if we're already leaning into red pretty, pretty easily. Um, these are not my favorite lands. I'm going to take the Chandra here. I hope that Taiga comes back. At least you have heat now. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the heat was only gone for like a day. Like it was barely a, a blip. It was one night, so that wasn't terrible. But yes, if we did not have heat, it would be a much different story. I really want to take Questing Beast here, but double green is a little rough. Jetmere's Garden is a dual land. Flametone Kavu is just pretty good. We could Heart of Kirin. It's not terrible with an Oko. Oh, 62 in San Diego, huh? Yeah, can't wait. Let's Heart of Kirin. Let's see if we can we can Heart of Kirin. Yeah, not soon enough, let me tell you. I was talking about it today. I'm like, man, in Colorado, it's too cold in the winter. It's too hot in the summer. However, in San Diego, 70 in the winter, 70 in the summer. It's perfect. This is like the first time I've picked up Inferno Titan this season and actually like had the intention to just cast it. Yeah, I have um, I have three three temperatures on my phone that are not our location. One is San Diego, which says sixty one. Oh, the Taiga did come back. Perfect, that's glorious. One is Carlsbad, which is sixty two, and one is Escondido, which is sixty one. That's pretty much the general vicinity we're looking at when we move. So, oh. Um, None of these are exciting. Flame Slash is fine as a removal spell. None of these are exciting either. I'll take Sunbaked Canyon, I guess. <sighs> uh, Rampage and Raptor is literally just a red questing beast. Territorial Kavu also kind of playable, so these are fine. What up, Jimmy? Long time no see, buddy. Oh, Black Lotus. <laughs> and, a, and a Mox Ruby. Well, that's pretty good. Okie dokie. I guess we'll take the Lotus. Nothing I'm really giving up here, I feel like. Two Hierarchs as well. It's kind of cool to see the artwork like this right on top of each other. Yeah, I guess we'll just take the Lotus. Turn one Oko as well. Turn one Oko and Retrofitter Foundry. Uh, Plateau, Spars Headquarters, and Blood Crypt. All lands with either white or black in them. Lightning Bolt is just a solid gentleman. Oh, Wheel of Fortune? That's kind of what we were looking for, right? Especially with this... Uh, this hull breacher. Yeah, I'll take a Wheel of Fortune. Especially if we can hit an Narset, that would be great. There's a Primeval Titan, which is a guy. NT is also very, very good. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Fascinating. I think it's just Inti. I don't really want a double green card right now. Terrasol Kavu is fairly playable at this point. As a 3-3 three, three for 2. Yeah, I'm just taking the Inti. That seems very good. Thank you. Oh, mean mugger. Look at that with the sub. Nothing like it. Nothing like getting that wife sub, you know? Oh, a channel is interesting. 
So is Trumpet and Carnosaur. It wouldn't let me do Prime. Really? Not even on desktop? That's fascinating. We could also be splashing blue. We have three blue cards as well. Channel is interesting here. We don't really have many discard outlets for this Echo of Eons, right? Might just be Trumpet and Carnosaur, but what is that guy? Are we just casting it? Do I just take Channel and, and kind of hedge? I'm going to take Channel and kind of hedge and see what we can... See what we can do with the channel. Well, this pack's kind of rough. Um, oh yeah, I don't think this is the day our sub lapsed. She's been, she's been idle for a little bit. Sad. Sad. I like Euro. Uh, the double green, double blue is a little rough. It fits nicely on the curve. Like, I, I don't want another four drop, and I don't think Brea's Apprentice is as good as Euro. I'll take the Euro for now. We'll see what happens. Oh, that was, that was weird. Uh, definitely taking Mystic Confluence here. I love a Mystic Confluence. Also, Genesis Engine. I'm a big fan, but we're going to assume that... Oh, Raging Ravine. Great. There's a Eugene and a Ravine. I'm going to take the Ravine, though, because it's actually good for our deck, whereas Ugin is... Not great. <laughs> oh yeah, Dak is a sweet yeah, Dak is a pretty sweet interaction where you you let you make them draw two cards, but instead you get two treasures and then they discard two. Why do you hate Lil Stewie so much? Explain. <laughs> well, you see, Lil Stewie has been a naughty boy, so. What do we got here? Glory Bringer. I like a Glory Bringer. I like a Bring to Light. However, we only have three right now, so it's not as good. Nature's Claim is just solid. Solitude is very good. I'm just going to take the Glory Bringer and assume that we're, like, trying to aggro them out a little bit. I think we are blue-red. Which makes me think we're not going to have a green on turn one for this guy. Mastermind is probably fine. Pyromancer is also decent. I don't think Kavu is worth splashing for. Then again, we could be green. I don't know. Hard to say. I'll take the Pyromancer. Uh, Spara's headquarters is a forest and an island. And I do think it's better than a lot of these other choices. So, sure. Uh, Guardian Scale Lord would... It's not. It's never a terrible splash. Especially since we have Spara and Sunbake Canyon and Wooded Foothills to get it. I don't know if this card's very good. It's got to be better than Sanctuary. I'll take it and see. We'll see. Firebrand is great. Do they have haste? No. Oh, an Embercleave? Man, I'm just like, I'm playing Embercleave, Oko. Uh, sh sh I guess that's it. But it sure felt like we were playing Old Standard for a second, you know? Oh, a Fury? Mm, that's pretty good. That guy's kind of like power. It's not even legal in modern. I think I would take Narset if we had a, a higher number of wheel effects. I don't think we're there, though. I just have to throw in a bunch of these aggressive creatures, though, like Rodas Firebrand, Monastery Swift Spear, Kavu. <sighs> yeah, I think we're just going to be furying here. 
Oh, Goldspan Dragon. Another five drop. Eight. There's the Telerian Academy. That's interesting. We do have Retrofitter Heart of Kieran, and that's pretty much it. I think we're taking Pest Infestation, because that card is pretty bananas. Yeah, all right. We don't have much ramp or fixing. Or we, I mean, we have a good amount of fixing. We don't have much ramp here, though. This deck is feeling very fair right now. <laughs> Jace the Mind Sculptor is pretty good, especially because we have Heart of Kieran. Yeah, I'll just take Jace. I mean, if Jitte or Oracle come back, that'd be nice. Steam Vents. We are not a sneak attack deck, unfortunately. We are not a Kappa Cannoneer deck. Yeah, we're just going to take the Steam Vents. I think it makes our, our life a little easier now that we have a searchable red-blue dual land. I mean, it looks pretty good for, for Teamer. I mean, I can see playing this guy. I can see playing Kavu and Firebrand if we're being more aggressive. Six mana. It gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. It costs one less for each basic land type. So it's likely going to cost two to three, if depending on if like we have Spar's Headquarters in play. Fascinating. This pack is pretty bad. I mean, like, this is not great for us. I think it's just Rona here. Rona seems pretty decent. I think it's better than Magda. So this is 22 cards. And I'm kind of okay with all of them, I think. Yeah. Shh, we're not a show and tell deck. Fire and Ice is probably the pick here. Yeah, just take Fire and Ice. This is 23. So anything else we're going to have to make some cuts for. Yeah, pretty much fair teamer with Lotus. That's pretty much where we are. Wait, we're in Cyprus. Thank you for continuing the gift sub. Appreciate it. I think that just counts as a regular sub, right? And for pack three, these are sure taking a little bit. This is like the seventh pick. Got a good old fashioned Hellrider in here. This pack's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, Hellrider's like maybe the best card here for us. And that doesn't say a lot. Zerda is kind of meh. Activated abilities that aren't mana abilities cost two less. Actually, with Retrofitter Foundry, it's not terrible. Are there any act other activated abilities in our deck? Doesn't look like it. Makes Rona cheaper. Still feels better than uh, Hellrider, I think. Snapcaster. What do we have? Flame Slash, Fiery Confluence, Mystic Confluence, Wheel of Fortune, Expressive Iteration, Fire Ice. Eh, it's not terrible. I don't think we're playing any of these. Yeah, I'll just take Snapper. Gruel Turf and Talisman. Interesting. Also Vendillion Click. Also just Sentinel as a 2-3. Might be better than Euro for us if we're just being more aggressive. I think our mana is already pretty good. Yeah, I think we're just taking Sentinel here. Goldspan Dragon might be better than Gold Glorybringer. Interesting. I 
Definitely have some decisions to make now. Probably cut Snapcaster. We'll take a boat. Look at this brain freeze. So late. Thank you. 62, 62 months. That's just over five years. <sighs> we went to the original pancake house for breakfast. Then. It's hitting me. Grandpa needs a little nap. All right, so we can cut one of these dragons for sure. I think it's Glorybringer initially. There's only 12 creatures, but it feels like more. I can see cutting Seasoned Pyromancer. That guy doesn't impress me much. Take Arc Trail. Eleven creatures, but we have Heart of Kirin. Is something else better than Euro, I wonder? Oh, Magda. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm fading. Oh, Fer Ferocidon's actually interesting. Ferocidon actually feels aggressive enough that maybe we just play that over like Euro? This is 24. Plus Heart of Kirin, plus Chandra, Jace, and Oko. This is like a two drop. I might take out Rona. My opponent cast show and tell, putting in Archon and I put in Treachery, stole his Archon and they got hit with the Archon triggers instead of me. Oh, that's interesting. I also wouldn't have known that worked that way. So you steal their triggers as well because it, I guess because Treachery makes it so it never entered under their control? That's super weird. Yeah, I would not have expected that. I mean, I just thought it would have been cool to, to steal their Archon. That would have been good enough for me. Might just be Fire Ice. Or Flame Slash. Fire Ice might be better than Flame Slash. The Treachery gets attached as a state-based effect, you see. Mm, yes. That's how Stuart sounds in my brain. All right, we're going to keep these. I think this is correct. I I do kind of like Zerda, especially with um, Retrofitter Foundry. Oh, yeah. But I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, fingers crossed that this deck is actually... It feels aggressive enough, you know? We got green, blue, blue, green. All right. Okay. So red sources we have one, two, three, four, five, plus six is 11. We'll say that's okay for now. Blue we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. Green we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. You just cut a red here? I think 10 red is probably fine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plus Lotus for everything. Two, three, four, five, six. And then three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Yeah, six, seven, ten seems fine, plus Lotus. All right, fingers crossed this deck does anything. I have no idea. I just took a bunch of red cards that looked good. And then we kind of uh, sidled our way into, into aggro things. <sighs> it's going to be rough. The awning is strong. 
<sighs> All right, let's go. We're playing against Schwer Schwer. All right, sounds good. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I remember driving in Seattle and it was absolutely terrible. Um, I felt like I was going to die every time I drove. Multiple people almost got into accidents with me. Okay, I'll keep it. I got to turn to Kavu. Oh, I see. Well, devoted druid. Walking Ballista for one. Huh. Well, that's fine, I guess. I have to play one land and pass like a sucker. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good. Yep, here we go. Yep, it's going to be Emrakul. Okie dokie. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. A crushing blow? Yes. Will I get over it? Mm. No. No. But life goes on. Not for me. Uh, good game. Everybody played hard. I'll keep this because of the Rona. Sure. The old turn to channel Emrakul, huh? A classic. Skull clamp. Yield until the end step. I want a red and a green, so I think it's just Taiga. Followed by... All right. Look at that little guy. Give me something that can kill it. Land would be nice. Draw a card, then discard a card. Okay. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Oh, Lord. I guess we'll get rid of Titan here. Phenomenal. Missing land drops. Like you do. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I'll give you Mox Diamond. Land? No. No, that would have been too good. How about now? Fantastic. I That's actually not terrible here, but still. Oh, God. Let's get rid of... Probably fire ice, I guess. One, two, one. Great. Man, let me tell you how cool one 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 land would be here so I can play an Oko or a Kavu. Or something that puts pressure on the board. Uh, you can have this forest. All right, there's that forest. There's that mox diamond.
Well, this match has not gone well, unfortunately. Oh, good. At least we didn't have anything. Black Lotus. Spara's headquarters. Draw Black Lotus. Forest. So we can't actually set up for Fiery Confluence because of the headquarters. So I think we just do this and play Oko or play Kavu. Does this guy have Trample? No, he should, shouldn't he? Doesn't that feel right? Oko also untaps this. They also have Skull Clamp, so they just get to draw 400. My god, Fiery Confluence being able to go kill this, kill this, deal one to everything seems really good. Which makes me think I kind of have to turn Skull Clamp into a guy. And then Oko takes six, Oko dies. Like they just get too far into the game, but they already have a Karn. Like this game feels like it's already out of our reach, unfortunately. We can also chump block here with Krona and then save the Oko to fight again. I mean, just keeping them at three cards is probably better than making them draw eight. <laughs> yeah, what do I know? What are you getting, Hermit? That's actually fine if we can find a red source. Babe, thank you for shoveling. Really appreciate you. Everything at Oko, huh? I honestly think I care about Oko less than I care about Rona. Like, Oko going to one here, like, doesn't really matter. Although, I mean, the possibility is we hit a, a red, and then we fiery confluence for three. That would have killed the Rona anyway, but not the Oko. <sighs> yeah, they're going to play six mana. Okay. Yep. That's that's a thing. One to Rona, sure. Rampaging Raptor, that will go. All right, red source off the top. Green source. Yep. Fantastic. Red source, three turns away. Great. <laughs> All right, 10 red sources should be plenty. Just kidding. All right, we'll play first. Uh, this seems very good if we can make it work. What are the odds of that? Feels low. I had to rush inside and find my inhaler. Oh man, you never need that. Two drop, three drop, got it. All right, well, a two drop would have been nice here. Something to, you know, do. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I told you. Remember when I was like, I wonder how, how likely this is to work. Well, not very likely. Yeah. Well, here you go. <laughs> never, never fails. Steve is a monster. That's interesting. That just means they have an answer for our our three two. All right. Well, we're passing here. I cannot imagine they tap. Our opponent is O2. So there's either two things that are going on. One is they have an answer for Hall Breacher. The other is that they're not very good. Those are the two options here. Oh, what up, Mitch? No, but they can take Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> no one expects them to take Hall Breacher. They could take Wheel of Fortune, which is what combos with Hall Breacher. Demonic Tutor. Interesting. What is going on here? Inquisition's a pretty good guess. Not good enough, though. So they have a dismember or a snuff out, right? They have a swamp, so it can't be snuff out. Okay, well, we're going to try this guy. Force of Will. Days. Okay, he's alive. He lives. What's happening right now? Are they regretting their choices? Are they preparing my demise? What's happening? Okay. Fascinating. Land. I mean, do we just play our guy? They could have lightning bolt. They have shock, burst lightning. So if they do have that, we go from three cards to seven cards. They go from five cards to seven cards. So they only draw two. I think we're doing it. I'm sure they're going to kill this. They've demo Fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did they demonic tutor for a card? Let me hull breacher and then let me wheel of fortune? <sighs> they learned something this day. I don't understand what just happened. Did they just see Jace the Mind Sculptor and they were like, oh, I gotta take it. And then they just took it and that was the end. These rounds have been going quite quick. Remember that Black Lotus we had in our deck? Let's draw it right now. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I was just, this is a little goof. It's <laughs> a little joke I like to tell. Okay, okay. I'll keep this. It's got Vigilance, right? My God. Remember this card was like 20 bucks? And then everyone was like, wait a minute. Smuggler's Copter is just better than that. The plus one plus one doesn't do anything. 
Black Lotus? Black Lotus, where are you? One in 33 chance. Nope, we're going, not going to the casino today, boys. <sighs> Babe, are you still there? Are you still in the little chatty chat? I die <laughs> from the from the shuffling the the shuffling the shuffling still. Oh no! Snow is the actual worst. I'm pretty sure. I don't actually understand. I've lived from from January 2020 to now to January 2024. I've lived in either Utah or Colorado, and over these four years. I have not gained an appreciation for snow and I do not understand how people choose to live in it. It is inconvenient. It is painful. It is dangerous. It's uncomfortable. Like I don't see it. The, the upsides snow is like, let me go visit a place that has some snow so I can experience it for like a week. And then I can go back home to the place that doesn't have snow. Like, I don't understand it. And I'm like, I felt like by living here more, I would be like, man, it's beautiful. I just love it. It sucks. I don't even want to get the mail when it snows. I think we're playing the NT because we need lands. And that can help us find some lands. But anyway, that's my, that's Frank's snow rant. Yes, Michael, do you have a question? Driving in it is dangerous. Okay, they looted. They did a little lootsie tootsie. They discarded two lands to faithless looting. Okay. But I'm more afraid of the devil's light bulb year round. He, I, I disagree completely. I've lived like as someone who lived in Florida their whole life, which is absolutely the worst end of this, the heat spectrum because you get the heat and like 98% humidity all year. Whereas like Colorado summers are hot, but they're, they're kind of fine because it's, it's not wet. Um, I would, I would live in heat any day over snow. Oh, they just killed my NT. No third land. Third land. No third land? Oh, no third land. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Back to the old drawing board. Humidity sucks, but I'd still take humidity over snow. Because snow, like humidity doesn't hinder me from doing the things I want to do. Like if I want to go to the store and it's snowed, I'm like, oh, I have to like clean my whole car off. I have to bundle up and wear 19 layers of clothing. If it's humid, if it's humid, I just walk out to my car and get in the car and the AC comes on and then I go to the store and there's AC in the store. And then I like, it just doesn't, it doesn't affect me. Whereas like snow is actually like, oh, I gotta be careful on the roads. I gotta be careful for other drivers. I gotta be careful patches of ice. Oh, I gotta go walk real slow into the store lest I fall and break my neck. I don't have I don't know where the lands are in this deck. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Why can't I find more than two lands per game? Well, let's see if we die to an Emrakul next turn. Every game Emrakul. I mean, Colorado's pretty brutal heat in the summer here, but like I'd still rather have that during the winter. Than, than snow, you know, like when it snows, I get like an exam. I'm like, I'm like literally like I let out a, a vocal sigh where I'm like, Ugh. it's just exhausting. 
<laughs> okay, you got recurring nightmare and sneak attack. Are they going to sneak something in and then recurring nightmare or something? There's nothing in the graveyard. Do they just have no creatures in their deck? Yeah, that's true. You can just harness the power of the sun. Have you guys heard of solar power? There's no snowler power. That's not a thing. Well, we got a land. The only land that would come into play tapped other than Raging Ravine in our entire deck. Is it safe to say our opponent has forgotten about their Faithless Looting? <sighs> Okay. So basically, if we had Hull Bre if we had, if this land came into play untapped, we could have Hull Breachered when they Wheel of Fortune. That would have been cool. Instead, we did not get to do that. They still don't have a sneak attack card. They just drew seven. Their hand was snuff out. Oh, they guess they could have snuffed. No, they couldn't have even snuffed out because they don't have a, they still don't have a swamp. Snuff out is not very good when you're not running swamps to make it free. Well, now we have seven mana. We're definitely killing both of these with Pest Infestation for five. And then playing Magda, I guess. Seems fine. And then crewing this. Seems fine. All right. Well. We could also play Chandra and then use the two for Pesto Infestazione. That's from the Italian. I got a lotus. Let's do red and a blue. Make Chandra. Let's make two mana. Let's go this guy and this guy. Done. One, two, three, four, five. Don't have counter spell. That would be really sad. Come on, Steve. You're not that big of a monster, are you? This feels like a good turn if it works. Okay, you're sneaking in something at instant speed during our turn. Okay. You're making a copy of Chandra. Okay, but now you only get to keep one because they're legendary, so I don't get it. <laughs> did your sub show up? I did not see it show up. This was an interesting interaction. Why they didn't do it on our turn, I don't know. Or their turn, so they could attack. And now we can just attack the Chandra with Heart of Kirin? When will my emote... Babe, I'll work on that today. I will work on your emote today. Crew three. One, two, three. Oh, I guess they just block with this guy. Because it does stay alive. Thank you. Uh, sure. Oh, Tigernate with the resub. Really appreciate you. I check hopefully every day like a kid at the mailbox. But not a kid at the mailbox when it snows. Because then you don't want to go to the mailbox. So this dies, and they get to keep a Chandra, which is totally fine, because we get to just kill it next turn, theoretically. All right. Could have a reanimate. Molten collapse on the Chandra. Sure. That's fine, I guess. What happens if we bounce this? Like it just dies forever. Is it a creature? 
I don't even know what's going on with this thing. This is a 3-3 with four loyalty. <laughs> Swamp. Got it. I'll take two. I also think you should have done that first so you have maximum mana in case it's like a Grave Titan or something that you can utilize, but... I mean, we can just go Ravine, Jace, Bounce, Attack. Man, our whole hand, like, our whole hand was really good because it was just nothing but spells. Where it was, like, Inferno Titan, Raging, Fiery Confluence, Rampaging, Goldspan, Fury. What are you getting back? The Dragon? Sure. He's making two copies of legendary things. I don't know why. Oh, I guess because you only get to target one thing. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I thought this targeted two different things. Create two tokens that are copies of target. Not yeah, I guess they're just one. You get to target one thing. Sure. I'll take four. What happens if you attack the Chandra? If it blocks, does it still lose a loyalty? I'm very curious about that. Nope, crew by one, two, three. So attack Chandra and attack Chandra. I just tried to drag it to Chandra like we're playing like we're playing arena here. Yes. Block. Okay. Great. Great success. Let's get a little rager. Alright, this feels good. Here's an emote for you, Gabe. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. I mean, it's a good one. So what was our hand? Our hand was one, two, three, four, five, six. It was just literally Hull Breacher through Inferno Titan. It was just seven good spells. You're animating Inferno Titan. Great. <sighs> Wonderful. Well, I guess Jace is dead. Well, now our hand is terrible. Not sure we can actually draw against our own Inferno Titan. Seems good. <laughs> well, it's a start. It's a living. Okay. <laughs> Put one of them into your hand. So if we play Magda here, we can crew, make a treasure, play Rona, then they get to Inferno Titan and kill. I 
And it just doesn't feel correct to play the Rona here so that she just gets killed by Inferno Titan. But then in the same... I guess, like, if they're doing that, they're not killing Magda. So. I don't know. I mean, if we can, we can just survive for four turns, we win. This game actually felt like it was going very well, considering all the uh, awkward plays our opponent made and how we had to deal with Astral Dragon several times. And sure, <laughs> how we didn't have lands for five turns and. more lands. Well, we can't crew here, so there's no point in doing that. Wow, that I was not expecting. I was not expecting them to leave the Ronin in play because that's very good for us. And they didn't pump Inferno Titan even though they have free mana. This is all very, very interesting. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's a thing, isn't it? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We get to keep three just in case they have mana leak. But right now we get to steal our own Inferno Titan back. Wheel of Fortune. Well, maybe we'll hold on to that guy. Even though the Hall Breacher is in the trash can right now. I have not seen a single counterspell from them, so. Dig through time. I think we just counter that and then cast, counter, or turn. Choose a spell. This one, this one, this one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think denying them two of their best spells in the top seven cards is better than just drawing a random card. That worked. All right. Well, that's not terrible, I guess. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I mean, it's really unfortunate. Wow, putrid him too. That's fine, I guess. I don't know. Inferno Titan's pretty good here, though. Uh, no blocks. It's kind of frustrating that Fury and Fiery Confluence and Hullbreach are all in our graveyard because of their well-timed Wheel of Fortune. It gave us lands, but if we just had lands naturally, we wouldn't have needed them. Discard and Sacrifice a Creature, sure. If 
fire ice. Oko, okay, one, two, three. Eight. One mana shy. Okay, well. Well, we're definitely killing Rankle, because that guy is the most obnoxious. <sighs> Probably going to go to th three here, maybe two. They're definitely attacking with Snake. This guy doesn't have flying, but they might think it does, because everyone thinks it does. Look at it. Look at the art. The thing's just flying. And if they draw an answer for Inferno Titan, we just die. That might just kill us, actually. Is that dead? It is if they attack with everything. Yep, great. <laughs> one time they actually... The one, the one play they've correctly made. Nice. <sighs> Good times. So just to be clear, 16 lands and a lotus. I think that seems fine. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I think Glorybringer is probably better than Goldspan here. I think Flame Slash can actually. I'm really surprised they left in Wheel of Fortune when they saw us with Hull Breacher. Arc Trail actually does seem kind of good. I think a retrofitter foundry feels very slow against them. All right. Well, Okay, no green, but we'll keep it. We got two spells. It's good enough. It's all you can ask for in this economy. That is true. You do have to draw that lotus. Draw that sweet, sweet lotus. Not today. Green source? Hull Breacher. That kind of does the job, you know? So this, this ability costs four currently. It's still a lot. But not many of their creatures had more power. So, you know, she could just deal like nine damage maybe before we ultimately die <sighs> demonic tutor okay another green card sounds good <laughs> let's all right. I mean, what if they got Wheel of Fortune? Wouldn't that be cool? Come on, Steve. Show and tell. Don't like that. Grave Titan. I guess it could have been worse. I mean, okay. <sighs> this is painful. Okay. 
Okay, well, sometimes there are days you're just not meant to win. I feel like they're frequent for me, but, you know, sure, it's all just a coincidence, right? Just a big, beautiful coincidence. Got a collective brutality or a home breacher. No, they're just gonna just gonna snuff it out. <laughs> oh god. To be fair, there's probably no reason I should have even played this off of sneak attack. Wow, this has just been such a pleasure. I, I'm such a lucky boy. I can't wait to go home. I do not think our deck has been this bad. These have been some pretty sweet draws. Okay, our opponent is double queuing in a new to MTGO Modern Gauntlet League, whatever that is. Fantastic, keep. <laughs> Look, it's got all the colors, it has a Lotus to go, Wheel of Fortune, what else can you ask for? <sighs> Wonderful. Yeah, I'm actually flabbergasted that we lost that last round. You play that card until your next end step. Interesting. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune discarding like the last two lands to trigger this twice is good, but not if we don't get to actually use them. Yep. I think on a one-for-one -one level, my two cards have been better. I think Retro is better than Manifold, and Inti is better than Talisman. What good that does? No idea. Another land, I see. Discard forest here. Uh, ideally, we'll hit Hull Breacher, right? Steam Vents. Okay. Still a freebie. I think we're just passing here. I don't think we're just playing Lotus for no benefit, and we're not Wheel of Fortuning. Some 
Rhea's Apprentice. I gotta decide what to do for dinner. You're just gonna get Chicken McNuggets. Who are you kidding? Lots of lands. I decided I wasn't for dinner. Anything I don't throw up, down eight pounds in two days. That's no good. I don't know if that's the diet you're looking for. <laughs> this guy. There's a Rona. More like losses, am I right? One, two, one, two. Let's just go red here. Um, boy. Okay. Uh, still just holding this. I mean, we're looking at three cards a turn between NT Rona and draw phase. Draw step. So it's like uh, our odds of hitting a hull breacher got to be pretty, pretty decent, right? The problem is we're not doing that much else. What is this? Frost Titan? Inferno Titan. Coveted Jewel. Wow. I feel like our odds of being able to take that are pretty high. I mean, we're going to have four creatures. They just got to be unblocked. Oof. Three red. No red. Three blue. Three red. Three blue. Untap. Oh, that's good. Five mana. Three white. Teferi. No, not three white. This is a real roller coaster. <laughs> it's, it's real. Okay, what are we doing? Give me that jewel. That's not your jewel. <laughs> oh, that's such a good fucking D'Angelo reference. Give me that dog. My grandpa gave me that jewel. Say goodbye to Exo. Oh, God, if they have sword, too, that's going to be awkward, but maybe they don't, you know? Basalt monolith. We're doing a whole lot of nothing here. Say goodbye to Exodia. Uh, make a gentleman. Okay, not the land we're looking for. But... So they can make three and then like sack a bunch of different artifacts. They can sack the jewel to Brea. They can also sacrifice the jewel to anything else, really. But I, I think that's better than just like letting them have the jewel. You know what I'm saying? You get trample? Yeah, you get trample. Uh, let's discard an island mountain. Oh, there's your boy. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, okay. Well, it was only a matter of time. Double blocking. Okay. There goes that Julie. 
Okay, so I tra I take both. I take both of them with me. Uh, deal. Okay, well, now we can empty our hand. Land. Whole breachy McGee. Lotus. And Wheelie McWheelerson. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. I guess they sack them all. So we have to target this and probably these two. They don't have sword though, so that's good for us, right? One. What do we have? How much mana do we have? Is that the best course of action? Probably, right? It's got to be these three because they have to activate this to like use the other two. Could just could just hit all four. Actually, if we hit these three, they're going to sacrifice these three. So I think we do hit all four. Otherwise, the, the pest infestation fizzles. One, two. Also, we hit zero lands. So that's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. So they make three. They sacrifice three things. But all three of those things... As long as there's one target left, we still get to make the tokens. Plus we can just cast Fury next turn and kill all of their all of their one ones. So that feels pretty good. Um, that's Brea's friend, not Brea. You're right. That's her apprentice. I've made an oopsie. An oopsie doopsie. They're like, oh, we'll sack all three and then concede. Sounds good. Solid plan. Do we have any other artifact removal? Don't look like it. Okay. All right, we're coming for that sweet one, too. Is this guy good enough on turn one? Kind of feels like it. It's, it's, it's got haste. It's just rampaging, you know? It's just a maniac. It's basically Watson. I mean, what are they going to do? Nothing. I'll keep. Oh, a little candelabra. Got a blue source for me? From Papa? Papa ain't got no blue source. Could play a turn one Oko as well. Turn one Oko feels good too. Next, that's that's three damage next turn after a after a little fooder. We do waste a mana, but Oko feels harder to deal with. Do it, kill him. <laughs> well, we're definitely playing this. How's that sound? Oko or Raptor? Oko or Raptor? Raptor? You're saying Raptor. Two for Raptor. Four for ra all right. I'm gonna do it just for the chat. Mm 
One, two, three. That's a, that's so many. That's what I was thinking. Like, if I don't draw a blue source, I don't cast Oko. But also being able to just go Oko food, second turn, Oko attack with 3-3. Three, three. Like, Oko's already up to 7 at that point, and it's very hard to deal with. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely murdering that dude. There's going to be a fire. Raptor do win games. You crazy. You ever attack with a creature before? I mean, this is just a crowdsourced opinion, you know? Could have been this guy. But the people wanted this guy. Also, you can pump this guy? That's so much quicker. That's so, many, that's so fewer that's so fewer turns, you know? You could take a whole turn off. Shave a turn off. Yeah, put that put that monolith in the graveyard. Oh, Fury is interesting. Let's get in there, see if they block. If they don't block, I'm like, okay, I got you. They didn't block. You fired. Get it? Because the card's fire. So it's like you're fired. It's a good joke. Mm, funny joke. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Not attacking here is bold because that says, I don't want to take the damage, you know? But you're going to take it anyway. <laughs> okay, that did it. <laughs> Okay, I guess the raptor is too hard to handle, you know? Don't be coming at the raptor, bro. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. This is a, this is a, hell, of a hell of a draft. I'll see you next time.